I'm Cass. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I will be setting up my October bullet journal and this month I themed it around Throne of Glass. I am so excited to retry my Throne of Glass theme because I did one a year ago and I was not very proud of the map. But this go around, it looks so much better. And if you are interested in purchasing this Throne of Glass map that you will soon see me drawing, um, my Etsy will be linked down below. I have Maps for every single Sarah J Mass series now, which is very exciting. And I also have a map for Shadow and Bone, the whole Grishaverse, and Ranger's Apprentice. So if you're interested in that, my Etsy will be linked. And the stickers I use also will be linked. I use stickers from my own shop, which is super snazzy, and also stickers from this shop here. I just cannot remember. Um, I use one sticker from them, but it is so bloody cute. Um, so yeah, that will also be linked below. I know there's a lot of promoting straight off the bat, so I do apologize, but my best friend Katie always yells at me for not promoting my Etsy shop because she promotes it more than I do, so it's my turn to start promoting my own shop. If you're here to plan with me, make sure you grab your stationery, and if you are here just to sit back, relax, and watch, babes, it's October, it's fall, grab yourself some hot chocolate, put on those fuzzy boots, and let's get to planning. If you couldn't tell from my super hyped nature in the intro, I am extremely excited for fall. Fall is my absolute favorite season. I love the weather. I love wearing my fuzzy boots. Okay, the Uggs are out. Well, the Uggs are out, but they shouldn't be because it is still an excessive temperature here in Texas. But I'm trying to manifest the cold weather quicker by wearing the boots. It's not working. I just end up just really, really sweaty. Um, no one wanted to hear about that, but that is the chaos you get when you watch my videos. So I hope you enjoy <laughs> and let's get to actually talking about this map because I don't think any of you that watched my last month's setup expected this coming out of the gates because I was in such an art block last month and oof, my September plan with me is rough. Like I did a lot of complaining. I was in I was in such an art block and really trying to push myself through it before I could get videos posted on time and yeah it was just not the vibe so this month I decided to try a few new things to get myself out of this art block and you may be thinking Cass you're drawing another map that's that's nothing new you you you've done this before and you are correct however what I did with this is I gave myself an excessive period of time to actually get it done. So last month, I left myself under a week to get my entire bullet journal set up, which doesn't sound like it should take me a week to finish a bullet journal setup, but with my maps, they typically take anywhere from like four hours to, I don't know, six to eight to sketch, to outline. Like outlining alone, I think took me three hours with this setup, I think for just the cover page. I mean, it varies cover page to cover page, um, but when I'm in an art block, it takes me even longer. So I left myself a lot more time to get this map done because I wanted to get it done in time to be able to sell it on my Etsy by the time this video came out. And so I had to get it done early if I can get the art prints ordered and everything. And yeah, I allowed myself plenty of time. That's <laughs> That's step one that I took to get myself out of an art block. And step two, I also mentioned in the intro, which was using stickers, which you'll see here in a little bit when I quit working on my cover page. But it was so nice to just make something look aesthetic with less effort. I know a lot of you recommended that to me with my last month's bullet journal, which was make things less, like make art that doesn't take as much time. But for me, I want my art to look really good with my bullet journal, especially since I share it. And so it was tricky because now I don't really want to use my journal because I hate how my spreads look. So I have to have pretty spreads for me in order to want to use my bullet journal, which sounds super silly and like something that shouldn't be a requirement. But for some reason, that is how my brain works. So that is what I have to roll with. But with this map, I think since it turned out so well and I was so proud of it, I think it was easier for me to have the motivation to also work on my other spreads and make them look really nice for it would match the kind of the same level as my cover page. Now, I really enjoyed trying to draw this map again, and I love one of my favorite things is comparing art 
from years ago, or in this case, a year ago, and seeing the improvement that was there. Because sometimes when you're drawing art and you stare too long at the art piece you're working on, you just kind of grow to hate it, which typically happens with nearly all of my art prints. And when I put my old October bullet journal cover page next to this one, the amount of improvement between the two just is insane. So if you're wanting to go and see what art piece I'm look, like talking about, I do have my October plan with me video linked. Um, I don't know how cringy I look in that intro. Um, but yeah, that was over a year ago and I've changed quite a bit. But yeah, that is my tangent about my art. And I don't, I don't even know what to talk about now. Like, <laughs> I'm still working on the cover page because I didn't want to cut everything out, but I did chop it up quite a bit and speed it up quite a bit just for you get the full effect of how long these maps take me. Um, the border could have been more detailed, but honestly, I was feeling lazy and I allowed myself to be lazy and make it more simplistic and modifying different pieces of the maps using the map references in the books and just modifying it to be more simple also was really helpful because then it felt more like freeing to do kind of whatever the heck I wanted with it. So that was super fun. I <laughs> I seriously don't know what else to talk about. What do I usually talk about? I know last month I just complained and then I don't know, live stuff going on? Oh, I bought some more concert tickets, some more, um, I'll be seeing some more K-pop groups, Blackpink. Um, ticket prices were ridiculous for Blackpink. I don't know if any of y'all are blinks out there, but oh my gosh, I feel broke after, uh, after buying Blackpink tickets. Shall I just do an intermission with like a quick little life update with other stuff going on? Um, I'm fixing my sleep schedule. That's super exciting. I no longer have been going to bed at 5 and 6 in the morning, which is honestly such a big improvement. I've been waking up around 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. Shocking. If anyone knows me, um, you know that my sleep schedule is um, legendary. Legendary in the fact that it is horrid. Um, other things, my dance team, I'm in so many dances <laughs> upcoming. And yeah, I'm super slow at learning choreography, but I feel like I'm improving. So that's snazzy. Reading has been going good. We'll talk about reading really quick. Um, books are cool. No, I'm kidding. Um, we're moving on. Look, I'm on the next page. This is progress. So the other thing that I did is also like I used scrapbook paper, which for some reason really elevates how my journal looks. Like just rip up some scrap paper and stick it in your journal and you'll see exactly what I mean. Also, look at this little Abraxas sticker. It's so precious. It is so precious. And also, if you watched last month and you know that I did a bigger calendar setup, I kind of didn't vibe with it. I, I just, I'm not, I'm just not vibing with it. So I went back to my mini calendar and hopefully that works. So basically I just went back to the old way I was doing journaling um, starting back in May just because it was working for me and last month I needed to change it but then I realized I actually didn't need to change it I just needed to get out of the slump I was in so we are just doing the mini calendar and I must mention the I guess color palette for this month is uh, black and white so the white pen that I prefer is the jelly roll in the size 0.7 if I had a smaller size I would have used a smaller size but I just had the 0.7 so that's kind of what I used I also use a Tombow Fudunowski brush pen. Um, I use the hard tip, that way it gives me some flexibility, but not too much to where the line is too bold. And I believe the other thing I use for outlining pens is the Artist Loft, which is a Michaels brand. You can also use Pigma Micron, which I used to use, but they're really expensive and the Artist Loft Cheap Michaels brand works exactly the same for me, so I'm not too picky when it comes to pen brands because regardless, since I use them so much, I have to replace them just as often, so I would rather pay less money and continually replace them like I already have to do. Now the two little things I'm doing down here at the bottom is a little growth, like a social media growth tracker, just as a fun little visual to see, look, this is where I started the month, and then as the month progresses, I can kind of see where I'm at and then where I end, and then important dates for concerts, vacations, events, 
stuff like that. I also threw in black and white washi, which this washi tape set that I got from Michaels like ages ago, not ages ago, probably like a few months back, has been my absolute favorite set ever. I use it so much in my reading journal, and this is a not the first time using it in my bullet journal, but using black and white, this is my first time using that combo, and it's just so nice. I love it so much. And another thing that I absolutely love is this dragon silhouette sticker sheet made by yours truly. And there's something so satisfying about using your own stickers because I've never used my own stickers in my bullet journal. I've used them in my reading journal, but never my bullet journal. And it honestly looks so good. I didn't realize how much I loved the dragon silhouette stickers until I used them. Um, this page I'm working on here, I made it into a Dutch door. On one side, it is my to-do list, and then on the other side is a mood and habit tracker, which you'll see in a second. But yeah, again, it's linked below if you want to pick up a Dragon Silhouette sticker sheet. Honestly, they are so cute, and this theme I feel like is easy to recreate if you're a fan of Throne of Glass, or do something similar with just dragons as a theme. I don't know. It's a fun time. I had so much fun with this setup, and it was so refreshing compared to last month. Oh my goodness. Now, this is my mood and habit tracker, like I mentioned, but how I incorporate my moods is when I fill out my habits, I'll fill them out with a certain color, and this eliminates needing another, I guess, habit, not habit page, but like another page for like habits and mood to have them separately. So I just group them into one, it's less work, which again, with my bullet journal, I want it to be cute, but I want it to be efficient, both in the use of it and the setting up. Then I lined the other side of my Dutch door with some more dragons. Look how stunning they look. I, <laughs> I love it so much. And then my next page is my highlights page, which is kind of like a one line of day. I just write my favorite thing that happened or something, I guess, momentous that happened. And sometimes it's very mundane with the momentous things that occur in my life, but I don't know, it's fun to look back on like a highlight reel just written down. And in the center, I just wrote the word highlights, telling you what the page is, and added a few little dragon stickers um, around the other sides. So nice and simple. I don't really do an excessive amount with this page because I need all the room in order to write my highlights. So doing something nice and simple, but again with the scrapbook page, like the scrapbook paper ripped up, it's just so nice. Look at it. I really need to get something other than a glue stick though, because I freaking hate using glue sticks. So I need to get like the square sticky tabs that you like peel the backing off. I think that would be much more efficient for me just because glue sticks make such a mess and I hate the feeling of glue on my fingers. I hate it. Also, I don't know if this Amanda Rachley bracelet has some sort of like power embedded into it, but these are the straightest lines I've ever drawn freehanded in my journal. So I don't know what sort of magic she infused the bracelet with, but I, seriously, like those lines are so straight for me. Like I, I cannot draw straight lines to save my life. And for some reason this month, I was just built different. Now, again, same exact header that I've been using for every page, which is just the RIP scrapbook with the word in calligraphy written on needing, what am I saying? <laughs> with the word correlating to which page I need it on. So finances, highlights, mood and habit. See, I just love continually rambling and not redoing clips when I like muck up my words because I think it's entertaining and the chaos is what y'all signed up for. Um, I'm going back with my Tombow N95, which is just a very light gray in order to separate the lines because I kind of forgot to do that because it's me and I'm not surprised that I forgot to do that. And then I've been also separating my finances for it's just easier to see each column. Now my finance tracker is super straightforward. I literally just have a running total of all the money I spend and then categories that I sort my money into, savings, car, vacation, stuff like that. And then this page is actually a stats tracker is what I call it. And it's just fun stats that I like to keep track of, which is typically movies I watch, TV shows I watch, which honestly are far and few because I cannot commit myself to any TV shows. It's insane. And then I leave the rest of the boxes for music that I discover because I love looking back and seeing kind of what music I was binging each month because I have a habit of finding new songs and then 
listening to them on loop until I get sick of them. So I just love looking back to see when I discovered certain songs or when I rediscovered certain songs. And yeah, it's entertaining for me to look back on. And then I just added a cute little quote in the corner here. It reads, we are the 13 from now until darkness claims us. And that is a quote by Manon Blackbeak in Throne of Glass. I wanted to incorporate something else other than the cover page to be like, hey, this is Throne of Glass themed. And then I threw in a few more dragons, a bit more washy, and I just love how quick and fun this setup was. And it was just so, so refreshing. And I really hope y'all enjoyed, and I do apologize for being so negative in the last setup. So hopefully this was a nice, refreshing change of pace. But here is the final flip through for my October 2022 bullet journal, and I will see you in the outro. Thank you so much for watching the video all the way to the very end. It literally means the world to me. I know I complained a lot last month about my bullet journal videos, but something reignited in me this month, and I think it was because my map turned out so good, and I was very proud of it compared to last month, and using stickers throughout my setup just brings me so much serotonin, and so that could also be a contributing factor. But I really do hope that you enjoyed, and if you're not already, make sure you subscribe for more bookish and journaling content such as these. Uh, like the video if you liked it, and I really hope to see you in the next one. Toodles!